Hello everyone this is Harry from Arts Communication. In this video I want to show you how you can install Windows 8 via a USB flash drive into your notebook. As you see I have one notebook here is Sony and another I have here that is positive BGH whatever. You can use this process or this method in any notebook or any desktop PC for installing Windows 8. Let me show how you can do this. First. I will use my desktop PC. I put Windows 8 CD at my CD ROM at my desktop PC or you can use your notebook too. Whatever. This is Windows 8 32 bit. You can use Windows 8 64 bit. I close and here is the USB flash drive. I put this one inside. But this is not a normal USB flash drive as you see the light is blinking. I made this USB flash drive as a bootable USB flash drive and I make this bootable option by DOS mode. If you don't have a bootable USB flash drive, check my video how you can make a bootable USB flash drive for install Windows especially in DOS mode. I will click at my computer. As you see this is my external USB drive and here is the Windows 8. I will click the right button of the mouse, the DVD of Windows 8 and I will click open. I will copy all this file of Windows 8 but this CD of Windows 8 is bootable. You need a bootable Windows 8 CD and I copy all this file and now I will paste all here. So I already have Windows 8 all file here pasted so I will not do again. You need to paste here all the file at the root folder of your USB plus drive that is bootable. Now I will close this one and I will disconnect my flash drive from the PC disconnected I will put this flash drive into USB as you see here I put into the USB port you have to enter into the BIOS for make this USB drive boot the BIOS are different in some PCs F2, Dell, F10, F9 is different from model to model of different notebook and different band I click power button and I click F2 let's see by clicking F2, I am now into the BIOS of Sony Via Notebook. Here at the top, I have boot option. You have to go at the boot option that could be 4th or 5th. And you have to choose the USB flash drive as your first boot. Here first boot, I click and I put external device. because my USB is not coming there so the external device is my USB I think by plus button at the keyboard you can make it up or sometime with the F5, X6, F6 you can make that or I click external device as my first boot second boot is the hard drive you have to click F10 in this by the F10 option is not working I click F4 save configuration and reset no this one not i will go to exit i go down and save changes yes and now i click exit setup and click yes and as you see windows 8 logo is appeared and my usb driver is blinking i'm at windows 8 logo and setup will begin in few minutes. Here is the first option. Here you should change your language, the format of hours and time, and the keyboard. I am doing for my client this one in Spanish, so all will be in Spanish. I click next. After that, install now. I want to throw all the documents and data and I want to make a format and want to do new Windows 8 because it has Windows 7 I don't want nothing old if you try to do a format you have to make a backup of all your document and data before doing this process now I have to put product of Windows 8 that is normally is written in the cover of Windows 8 CD or DVD 
okay here we are after putting the product key it's bring me to this menu here i have to accept the license from microsoft i click this box for accept i click next here two option you one is it will go directly to installation the other you can choose where you want to install and you can format your hard drive and all the things and as you see i have three partition the first one is a recover system recover that is 10 gigabyte from sony corporation the second one is 100 megabyte of windows reserve partition and the third one is 286 gigabyte for use i will delete all of this partition because i want to do a new window option advance here and i click delete accept second one is the same i select and i click delete third partition i select and click delete and now i have unlocated space click new and i click apply it asks me windows needs some space or one reserve partition for run properly for windows 7 is 100 megabytes for windows 8 is 350 megabytes it doesn't matter it's need i click accept and it's doing the process as you see 350 megabyte is for system reserve and 297.7 gigabyte for use the second drive is selected and here is one option is next i click next and the process is begin is copying the windows 8 the first option the second option it will expand the windows the third option will do the installation the fourth option it will great and the last option will be the finalization or the completing the windows 8 installation so we have to wait it's preparing and the pc will restart one more time okay here we are as you are seeing i'm at the windows 8 personalization here I have to put one name to the PC and choose the color. This PC belongs to Albana. And I will click next for next menu. Here it asks me I want to connect to the Wi-Fi or not. Yes, I want to connect with the Wi-Fi. Connect that. And I have to put the password. Okay, after putting the password, I click connect first recommended configuration here I have to put one email address of my hotmail or live if you don't have any email address you can use still the third option here is without any email address of Microsoft I click the third one without any email address and I have to put one name that I put the same Al Bana. and I will put PC Finalizar, finalization <coughs> and as you see it's a hola it will say hello to you or in your language and it's preparing the PC for first use and here we are the famous Windows 8 Metro tiles all is working fine I think so here is my Wi-Fi is connected. I go to the Metro and I will click Windows the Explorer. Let me see I can connect or not. Yes, I'm connected to the Microsoft. Here you see ARG in Argentina, San Miguel, one part of Buenos Aires. Okay. If you like this video, please do subscribe. If you have any question, leave me as a comment. I will try to answer you as much fast as possible. As always, for more information, go to the IRS Communication www.irscommunication.com. Thanks again. Good night. Ciao.